So we've shown for the first time that birds have pathogen recognition genes which are really tailored to the kinds of climates that they live in. The birds in the dry environments have um, relatively few of these pathogen recognition genes, so they don't have as many copies as the ones which are in the wetter environments, and that's probably because they are exposed to fewer pathogens. So that means that over evolutionary time, their immune system has been really tailored to these dry, arid environments. So if those environments start to get more rainfall and wetter and more pathogens come in, they may not be very well adapted to cope with that because they may not have time you know, they don't have millions of years to adapt to those conditions. Many species will be affected in this way because it's just part of being adapted to the kinds of environments you live in. And as I say, that happens over a long period of time, over evolutionary time. And the climate change that's occurring at the rate that we currently see is just way too fast, I think, for them to cope with that. Well, it was really interesting in the case of the migratory birds because actually we didn't see that strong relationship between um, how rainy the environments are that they're living in and their MHC genes. So that lack of a relationship suggests that the transitory lifestyle that they have where they're breeding in Europe and they're wintering in Africa seems to result in them escaping um, some of these issues that come about through the, the climate and the relationship with pathogens.